Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lillian and this is Farm with Bisase. So today we are talking matters, scholarship, especially in agriculture. And we are going to talk to a scholar who was recently selected for Shivning. In case you don't know Shivning, she's the right person to tell us about it. So I met this friend online. Excited to be having her and she has won the Shivning scholarship. So welcome to my channel thank you so much Lillian, for having me okay you're welcome so you'll talk to my subscribers mm -hmm. uh, maybe tell them who you are what you're going to pursue and then we will speak about the shaving scholarship mm -hmm. yeah so my name is Winnie Kridi as you mentioned earlier mm -hmm. I'm a Kenyan uh, shaving scholar 2021-2022 mm -hmm. and I'll be pursuing a master's degree at the University of Leeds mm -hmm. I'll be taking MSc Food Quality and Innovation. Wow, congratulations. Thank you so much. It's been a journey. It's so surreal, I can't believe it. Uh -huh. yes. How many times did you apply for this? Uh, this was actually my third time applying. Third time? Yes. You never gave up? Oh, I never gave up. Shivning for me was that scholarship that um, really stood out in terms of... Um, the whole package that Chivning offers, the networks, the professional growth, mm -hmm. the academic growth, and the relationships that go beyond the academics. Mm -hmm. So it was um, such a unique scholarship for me, and that's why I was very particular on that particular scholarship. Oh, wow. So uh, as much as I really wanted to to go through other scholarships, mm -hmm. uh, Chivning always topped that list, and that's why I always wanted to come back to Shivning. Okay, yes. so we are talking about Shivning. Yes. Probably there is someone who is hearing it for the first time. So what is Shivning? So the Shivning Scholarship is actually a scholarship offered by the UK government, mm -hmm. uh, funded by the Foreign and Commonwealth Development Office, mm -hmm. uh, together with its partner, in, partner organizations, such as universities and private bodies, mm -hmm. the non-government organizations and all that. They come together to fund these scholarships to talented individuals who've shown great leadership skills mm -hmm. in their in their uh, areas of work uh, of careers mm -hmm. that are looking into developing themselves uh, professionally, academically, and building strong networks. Mm -hmm. And it also gives you a chance to actually experience the UK culture. So it's quite a uh, a diverse kind of scholarship. It's the, it doesn't really focus on um, academics only, but it gives you this uh, a whole range of uh, activities to do for yourself. You develop professionally, you develop academically, and you also build le uh, uh, leadership skills, your networking skills. It gives you those um, networks that actually go beyond the scholarship. So Phoebe, who is eligible to apply for the Shifting Scholarship? So the Shifting Scholarship is actually open to a wide range of applicants and uh, to be eligible for the Shifting Scholarship you need to at least come from a Shifting eligible country or territory. There are over 160 countries that are eligible for the scholarship and a candidate coming from these countries has to be willing to actually come back to their home country for at least two years after the scholarship. Uh, secondly, uh, for a candidate to be eligible, you need to have a, an undergraduate uh, degree. This will uh, come into play when you're applying to your universities. It will uh, enable you gain entry to the universities for a postgraduate study. And third, uh, you need to have at least two years work experience uh, Shivning uh, considers a wide range of work experience. You can uh, take your internships, your volunteer work, but you need to clearly bring that out when you're um, describing or bringing out your leadership skills, your networking skills, why you want to build a career in that particular field. So you need uh, at least two years of uh, work experience, but you need to bring that out very clearly in your essays. And lastly, uh, there is actually a very nice thing about the Shivning Scholarship. It actually doesn't have an upper age limit. So anyone can actually apply to the scholarship. We have um, scholars that have actually uh, earned the scholarship and are actually uh, uh, 
above 50 years. So it's something wow. good for any candidate willing to give it a shot, any candidate who is really uh, want to contribute and impact to their country, they should go for a shilling scholarship. Okay. So Phoebe, how do I apply for the shilling scholarship? So the shipping application is an annual process that opens annually and applications are open between around August to early November and between this uh, window period is where applicants uh, are able to submit an online application. So for the online application you actually have to create an account in the shipping application portal where you fill in your information to do with your personal information. You also have to name two referees for your application. Uh, at that stage, you can actually choose to upload your reference letters, but you can always uh, upload them uh, at a later date. And uh, you also have to check and ensure you have selected three eligible master's programs in the UK universities. And, and lastly, you uh, have to do the four main essays. These are the leadership and influencing essay. The networking, the why UK essay, where you have to like uh, describe why you've chosen your particular courses and why your specific universities, and the last essay is the career plan essay. This is where you demonstrate uh, your future goals. What do you need to? How how do you want to impact your country with your skills and expertise that you'll actually gain from your masters in the UK? So thank you, Phoebe, for that. So what happens after the application? So after you make an online application, the reading committee has to go through the applications and uh, shortlist uh, candidates for interviews. So once you've been shortlisted for an interview, you will uh, receive a notification where you're invited to book your online uh, slot. And then uh, once you've booked your slot, you'll be able to attend your interviews. And after the interview period, you can be notified if you've been conditionally selected for a scholarship. So thank you, Phoebe, for agreeing to do this interview. If I may inquire, what are you doing to mentor other aspiring uh, applicants for the Shivling Scholarship? Well, Lillian, that's a very good question. So let me tell you a short story about my, my Shivling journey. Mm -hmm. So it was actually my third time applying to the Shivling Scholarship. And over the years, what really uh, helped me stand out was the mentorship that I received from a wide range of excellent Shivning alumni. The Shivning alumni are such a family. They really mentored, uh, mentored us. They took us uh, through what we would expect in the UK. So together with other Shivning scholars, we are currently running a mentorship program where we mentor prospective scholars of what to expect during the application process. Wow, that is so good of you, Phoebe. I'll actually leave the links in the description box uh, below. And uh, when are you leaving for the UK? Oh, I'm leaving to the UK in a week's time. I'm so excited, but I'm, I'm starting to feel like a little bit of homesickness. Mm -hmm. It was... Uh, I was at home last week and it was really emotional saying goodbye to my parents, my siblings. So um, I'm really trying to wear those big girls pants and just try to dress myself for what is ahead. So what are you looking forward to in the UK? Um, look, I'm really looking forward to building my academic expertise in the field of food science studies. I develop myself professionally, I build strong uh, relationships across the food industry and to build a relationship that will actually go beyond the scholarships. I've identified quite a number of researchers, not only uh, in my university but across the, the UK, that I'm really looking forward to meeting and working and actually building a connection with them because I really want to become a researcher in the future. Okay. That is very interesting. I wish you all the best and you can achieve it. And Thank you so much. Uh, it's been great having you. Thank you. I really appreciate you having me. And I would encourage so many pe people out there to actually go ahead and apply to the Shivning Scholarship. The, the Shivning Scholarship is actually open. It's currently open. Mm -hmm. And it should apply before the 2nd of November 2021. Thank you so much for watching. In case you've not subscribed, kindly consider subscribing. 
I'll be leaving all the links to the mentorship programs so that you can be able to join. And uh, for the returning subscribers, hope you've turned on the notification button so that you do not miss out a video. Thank you and bye.